All right, today we're gonna do another outdoor review. Got another opportunity to get outdoors for one of these things. And uh, this one's hopefully gonna be a little bit special. We're gonna be looking at a Canadian IMP. I've been looking at a few of those lately, but this one will be outdoors. And I'm being joined today by Mrs. G. Schultz 9. Mm-hmm, it is special. Hey, babe. Good morning. Uh, and as I said, it's good morning. It's actually morning time and we have not had breakfast yet. So today we're going to look at a Canadian IMP, which Mrs. G. Schultz 9 has never had before. Mm-hmm. And it's a breakfast menu. It's Menu number six from 2015, Beans and Wieners. So that's my breakfast? That's your breakfast. Okie dokie. Sounds like fun, huh? Yeah. And just to make it a little bit extra special, I'm also going to be breaking in my brandy new, old, uh, U.S. GI mess kit from 1942. World War II era. So I recently did a um, 2016 version of the same menu, and I also did a... Uh, comparison between the two. So this one has actually already been opened and we've already reviewed this menu. So since it is kind of a duplicate review of sorts, we're going to do this on the quick side. I just figured it's a kind of special environment for it. So let's take a look at what's inside of here. As you can see, the Canadian IMPs come in this, it looks like a, basically like a brown bag, mm. like a brown, having like a brown bag lunch or something. Mm. And I should also mention, you can see the uh, G shells is on here. This was sent by Multimagnum62. So I do want to give a shout out to him and say thank you for sending this along to review. I believe Multi Magnum was in Kentucky. Hmm. Fascinating. You got these. Uh, you got a whole bunch of these at a gun show. It's a whole oh. other story, though. But uh, okay. he's very kindly sent a couple of them to me. Nice. Which is quite awesome. All right. So. I don't know if that's gonna stay there. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little windy today. So here we have the beans and wieners. You can see the ingredients for those and the nutrition facts. Take a look at that. We'll check out the rest of the stuff. first ingredient sauce. Okay. The first ingredient is water. That's healthy. Yeah, water's good. And here's the dessert. They actually label it on the box. This is sliced pears. And I think you're going to like this because a lot of times I say this is the closest thing you can get to fresh fruit in a packaged military ration. I'll be the judge of that. Here we have the hamburger bun. This is the bread product. It replaced, it used to be just a, uh, like a little mini loaf of bread. Oh, wow. Here we have a chilled cappuccino protein drink. Ooh, yummy. And I did check this out when I did the, the uh, comparison. This has 18 grams of protein. Whoa. Just in this. We have some raspberry jam. Use that for the, um, Hamburger bun. Tasty. We have the Canadian beverage bag. Ooh, that's gonna blow away too. I gotta be careful. Uh, as I said, it is breakfast, and we do have apple and brown sugar crunchy cereal. We have the Canadian napkin, which is huge. Oh wow, the bag is gone. Yeah, yeah it doesn't, doesn't skimp on the napkins. No, they don't. It's impressive. And we have grape sports drink. Espresso roast coffee. Oh, so two different coffee things. Uh, yeah, I mean, one is a cold cappuccino drink, and this is the uh, coffee one. Um, and this comes, you'll, you'll appreciate this, this comes with sugar and whitener. The 2016 one was a three-in-one coffee, so it already had the sugar and creamer in it, so you didn't really have any choice, you couldn't have black coffee. Another thing you might appreciate, Mr. G Shells 9, Frank's Red Hut. Hot, hot, hot. Some matches, a wet nap, and the long Canadian spoon. Looks pretty big, doesn't it? Yes. It actually is kind of an optical illusion. I just happen to have a US MRE spoon here. And this thing looks insanely long. Mm -hmm. But what it is, it's, a, it, it's definitely longer, but it's not that much longer. I think what it is, it's the, uh, the smaller bowl and the slender, slender look of it, it kind of uh, huh. makes it seem like it's, it's insanely long. But anyway, that's uh, what's in this, and that's what we're going to be having for breakfast. Okie doke. All right, Sounds so great. to save a little bit of time, we're going to heat up the beans and wieners in some hot water. And in the meantime, I'm going to plate everything so it's uh, ready to go to save us a few minutes since we already did review a very similar menu recently. Can I go read a book while you're doing that? Uh, you can do that if you want. Okay, see ya. All right. Oh, and with everything flying around, I neglected to mention this also has 
some uh, chewing gum, similar to the US MRE chewing gum. But now we'll go ahead and get this stuff plated. And we'll be right back. All right, here we have everything basically laid out. We have the sliced pears dessert. We have the apple brown sugar crunchy cereal, which hopefully this will be crunchy. You can do this with either hot or cold water. I did it with cold. The hamburger bun, the last one I did had peanut butter and jelly, so I made a peanut butter jelly sandwich out of it. This one I figured we'd take advantage of it only having the raspberry jam by having that on half. And the other half we can use with the entree. Uh, we have our chilled cappuccino protein drink, our grape sports drink, and our espresso roast coffee. And this is black, but there is whitener and sugar if you need it, which I'm guessing you won't, but um, that is there. And we have our beans and wieners, classic camping food. Mm -hmm. uh, I could see it being for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Uh, in this case, we're having it for breakfast, and this is from Baxter's, just as the, uh, the pears were. Let's check these out. It's beans and it's wieners. Done and done. Breakfast is served. Mm -hmm. I love how they chop up the hot dogs for you. <laughs> <laughs> no muss, no fuss. All right, let's see. That's the only other thing too. I think we'll do have an extra mug here. We'll put the chilled cappuccino protein drink in here. Mm -hmm. Give that one last shake. You want to try the coffee? Sure. You can try the coffee. Okay. While we're waiting. All right, let's see. Looks nice and rich. Oh. Hmm. Put hair in your chest. <laughs> I made it a little on the strong side so you could taste mm -hmm. it. It's strong. And I like it. Good. It's good to know. Doesn't need mm -hmm. uh, the sugar or creamer? No. Well, not for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure. But should okay. I try this next? Yeah, try the crunchy cereal while it's still on the crunchy side. Okay. Yeah, my spoon here, I can try some stuff too. It's good. How did it get like that white creamy stuff in there? You didn't put milk I think in there. I think there's milk in it. Mm. Let's see. Rolled oats, milk powder, sugar, canola oil, dried apple, molasses, sweet mm. germ, sesame seeds, and flavor. I like flavor. I like this because it's surprisingly creamy. It is crunchy. This is the crunch. It's definitely sweet. Like I had a little bit on my hands and my hands are... <laughs> sticky. Yeah, they're very sticky. The one, but I very much like this. So. Yeah, I do too. The one I had the other day, I was um, plating everything one at a time and was cool. one of the first things I did. So by the time I got to it, it wasn't really crunchy anymore. Mm -hmm. But yeah, basically it's like, a, and if you, obviously if you use hot water, it basically would be like an oatmeal kind of a thing. Flavored oatmeal. Mm. That's good. That's and good. try this, whatever yep. this is. Try the pear. pears, sliced pears. Hey, get out of there. I'm gonna, uh, did the mosquito... Yes. Oh, you son of a biscuit! I see it. Oh, okay. good, it got away. I thought it was stuck in there. Pears are good. Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's sugar in it. Mm. Yeah, it's basically yeah, water and you. sugar. Thank you. Mm -hmm. and but... Ascorbic acid. I'm glad you brought this, because I was really hungry. I'm going to take a break and switch batteries. And then we'll uh, finish up. All right, we're back. And uh, I'm going to actually try a little bit of this um, cappuccino protein drink. It kind of gets a little bit of a, uh, like a little bit of a foam on the top. It's like the U.S. ones do. You can see that? Hmm, That's yeah, like yeah. Cappuccino. Let me see. Yeah, it's pretty good. I want to get your opinion as a coffee drinker. Oh, yeah. Kind of like a sweet, you know. It's got a kind of funny aftertaste. Yeah, Do you taste the, that? It's probably the protein hitting you. Maybe. Um, yeah, it probably is the protein. So. All right. Wieners and... Beans wieners and wieners. And beans? Yes, yeah, yes, ma'am. the wrong way. Yeah, why don't you give that a try? Kidooki. Oh, I like this little slice here. Mmm. Really tomato-y. Right? Mm -hmm. Like it tastes a lot um, of a tomato base. Yeah, the beans remind me a lot of a canned pork and beans kind of a thing. Get out of there. 
And uh, the wieners, have you tried the wieners yet? Yep, I just did. I'm, I was actually a little impressed with them that they're not as um, like soft and mushy mm -hmm. as like like Vienna sausages. Mm -hmm. A lot of times in these kind of kind of meals, that's what you get for the uh, the wieners slash really? hot dogs slash frankfurters slash sausages. Mm. I don't think I've ever had this kind of meal before with the wieners inside the uh, MRE. No, it's not a real common one. I think there used to be one. Sea rations, I think, used to have a, uh, I don't know if it was frankfurters and beans kind of a thing. And the old MREs had, uh, it's uh, referred to as the four fingers of death. It was frankfurters Oi. with a side of beans. Huh. Um, not very popular. And those were very much like uh, Vienna sausages. What were this? What were the third and fourth fingers of death? Well, it was just the four. It was, there was four frankfurters in it. Oh, so it was, okay, gotcha. <laughs> instead of the five fingers of death, they call it the four fingers of death. <laughs> oh, right. there's the hot sauce, too. Oh, geez louise, yeah, that's right. Uh, Gosh, maybe it's under here. Is it somewhere? What the? Hmm. One right. second, wait a minute. Yes, yeah, it's, it's in your pocket, Schultzy. Spice that mofo up. All right. Uh, if I could have make a request, just don't cover the whole thing. Just I'm not going to cover the whole <laughs> thing. Why would I do that? I'm glad you remember that. I'm it's like that time we went for ice cream, and I, <laughs> I said, "What kind do you want, honey?" <laughs> I got then exactly I... what you didn't want. <laughs> Uh, I'm glad you remember that because that's uh, obviously an important thing to uh, need the hot try. sauce. Mm -hmm. You can put it on the cereal too if you want. Uh, not. And the pears. Okay, no. And in the coffee. No. <laughs> I don't think so. Mmm. Now we're talking. I mean, I definitely like the sauce of the beans because it's. It's more like you taste the tomato first and not the sugar. Hmm. So I like yeah, that. I can see that. I mean, it does have that that uh, that canned bean taste, but I can see that what you're saying. It, it, it feels a little bit closer to real, like if you actually made these yourself. Mm -hmm. Should we try the bread? What did you think about the um, the wieners? Mm. Did you try them? You try yeah, them I did there. try them. Nothing to write home about, I guess. Yeah, no, they're they're fine. They held up well, consistent. You know, consistency-wise, but mm -hmm. and I did uh, not my jam. As I said, I did. Um, let me put the jam. Speaking of jam, ha. put the jam on half of the uh, bread so we could use the other half for uh, sopping up the juices and putting some of this on here. So I might as well go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, you want to try the? It's almost like a almost okay. like a dessert. You want to try the? Uh, it's uh, raspberry jam. Okay, give it a go. Mm -hmm. And tell me what you think of the bread too itself. Mm -hmm. Sure. The Canadian bread is uh, definitely pretty much a step up from mm -hmm. the wheat snack bread. Yeah. This is more like real bread, even though it is shelf-stable. I like the raspberry jam. It's very sweet now that we got rid of that mosquito. Mm -hmm. um, but again, not not overwhelmingly sweet. I think it's mm -hmm. got a... Yeah, they tend to tone down the sweetness in a lot of the uh, other countries' uh, rations, it seems. Yeah. In the drinks and the, like the jams and I just want to try the, the mains. bread, yeah. maybe solo. Definitely. Um, yeah, no, it's good. All right, no thing we have too is the uh, the great sports it. drink, which shouldn't come as much of a surprise as uh, what it's going to taste like, but uh, we can try that. And the Canadian beverage bags, they actually have this gusset at the bottom, so it can stand on its own. And as you noticed earlier, the uh, the cappuccino when it was in here was also standing on its own, but I did put it into a cup. If you had this whole meal, how many calories would it be? Ah, I'm glad you asked because I, uh, when I was doing the comparison between the two, I actually uh, counted them all out, and I believe it was like 1,088, something like that, hmm. somewhere around 1,100. And um, the 2016 one was a little bit higher; it was closer to 1,300, mm -hmm. or maybe a little bit over 1,300. So somewhere between 11 and 1,300, which is about about average anyway. Goodness gracious! Let me try some of this. I like that. Uh, you want to try some of the grape drink field style? For right you, I will try it. <clears throat> oh, wait. I should try this too. Reminds me of. It was a Kool Aid. As a kid, we'd drink that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> it smells like Kool Aid. It doesn't taste like Kool Aid. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit different. 
I mean, you could definitely add your sugar packet to it, and I'm sure that would. Uh, oh, does it taste not? Not this is interesting you say that because mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's one of the complaints about the U.S. Um, beverage powders is that they are too sweet. Mm -hmm. but I always just say you can just add more water. And if somebody yeah, really doesn't that's like, a good solution. Yeah, and if somebody really doesn't like sweet stuff, they can just drink water and not have the. Uh, yeah. But um, I kind of do have a sweet tooth, so it doesn't really bother me. Yes, we know this about you. Do we? Uh huh. All right, I think that was everything except for the uh, the gum. We can actually save this for our for our hike. Yes. Uh, and actually, I have this wasn't part of this one, but it was part of the 2016 one I recently did. This Soldier Fuel Canadian Soldier Fuel Energy Bar that we can use on our uh, hike that we're gonna do. Nice. This replaced the uh, cappuccino protein drink between 2015 and 2016, so we'll have that a little bit later. But I think that was it for this one. We did a pretty good job on this too. And I just want to finish up by saying once again a big a huge thank you to Multimagnum62 for sending this along. This is quite a treat. And we also want to thank Kim and Ray, friends of ours, who have let us stay in their cabin. So we're kind of uh, off the grid this weekend, giving us an opportunity to do an outdoor review. And also... Thank you for watching. So this one has actually already been opened, and we've already reviewed this menu. Yes. It's my brother fucking in it. <laughs> yeah, no. um, let's see. Oh boy. I don't know if that's going to stay there. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little windy today. And the nutrition facts. Take a look at that. Ooh, that's gonna blow away too. I gotta be careful. And replaced it for everything. Oh wow! <laughs> we have the Canadian napkin, which is <laughs> huge. Oh wow! The bag is gone. We have the apple maple. Wait. <laughs> Apple and brown, apple, sugar. brown sugar. We have the apple maple. We have. The... Get out of there. Slice pears. Hey, get out of there. Get a. Uh... Did the mosquito. Yes. Oh, you son of a biscuit. I see it. Oh, okay. good to get away. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. Oi. Oi. Goodness gracious. What the? Gosh. Oh, oh geez Louise. Hot, hot, hot. Spice that mofo up. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Yes. Oh, you son of a biscuit. Done and done.